everyone Scott here well it's moving day I'm moving the Red River Fox from its home at Clayton's hangar here in Wagner I'm moving it all the way north <laughs> south gosh you know I'm a pilot I do know my directions all the way south to Texas to my hangar down there so I'm having some issues uh, I'll be right back and I'll tell you all about them. Okay. Okay, so here's the deal. Got my trailer. And it worked great when I had my old gear and the 21 inch tires. Now I've got my new gear and 27 inch tires, which is wider. So I talked to Tony and he said I could just use a strap, pull them together. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I have broken three straps now, trying to get these things pulled together to fit on my trailer. Now, it's my intention to rebuild the trailer, redo it so it fits this setup. Um, obviously, I can't do that right now because I've got to get this thing on here and head south, not north, but south. So, um, I'm thinking about and if I'm wrong, you guys have about five minutes to tell me. <laughs> I'm thinking about taking the shocks off or loose from the top here. Um, you know, we leave a couple straps so that it won't collapse. But I think that's gonna remove enough resistance that I can pull the gear down more to fit on the trailer. The thing is, as I do that, the tire is gonna cant more and more as hit the fender. So, yeah, hmm. Well, by the end of this video, you'll see what I've done to fix it, or I'll come back and say, well, I'm leaving the airplane here while we regroup and figure this out. So, that's where I'm at. Um, I'll have an answer here in just a minute. Okay, so I said it'd be about five minutes. Um, it's been like two hours. So here's the solution. I took a shock loose, and I've got it strapped in there so it, it's not going to go anywhere. That's the only way we could get this thing up on the trailer. And you see, yeah, it doesn't f quite fit square, but it's not going anywhere. So we're headed to Texas now. Ah, this is going to be the longest... Longest short trip, only doing 50. So, here's my, my helpers for the day. It's my cousin, Brandon. Say hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. And there's, let's see, what's your name again? Killer. <laughs> That's Killer. So, and Clayton gets his hanger back. Yay. So, I'll catch up when we get to Texas. Okay, well, we made it. This is... The new home for the uh, Red River Fox. Gosh, I'm so tired, I forgot, forgot her name. Um, left her up on the trailer. Um, gotta make sure that, the gear, basically the gear doesn't collapse when I take it down. And I'm tired. Uh, Otis and I, see Otis over there, he's watching the neighbor. We've been up since 3 a.m. It is 7.30 now. And we still have another hour before we get home. So we're tired. So anyway, so I'll, I'll be back tomorrow and start organizing this mess. Actually turn my fridge on because every hanger needs a fridge and a broom. I've got a broom, um, apparently a block for the yoke. I don't know. Anyway, um, nice thing about this hanger is I have all kinds of space. So I've got, got a trailer in here, which I'll be honest, is gonna double as a bedroom if Otis and I ever spend a night. I'll put a cot in there. It'll work out really well. So anyway, so here we are. Gonna get home, have dinner, and come back tomorrow. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.